Join us today where we give a complete overview of our 24 volt lithium battery solar system powered by Battleborn batteries and Victron Energy. Gary, Stacy, Spirit, and Sophie. We're taking our motor home around the country. Around North America, we're on the road. It's Powhana Travels, here we go. Welcome back to our monster epic install of all of our lithium batteries and our solar panels. Uh, we're here inside the disco now. It's about six weeks later from where we left off last. So life happens and six days into the install, we just wanted to get things done and didn't get a chance to pick up the camera and record everything. So now we're gonna go back and uh, overview what we've done with our disco. Down here we have our AC panel. This is the original installed circuit breaker panel. And with this coach, it was a pan it was set up as an a split panel originally from the factory. The upper circuits up here were powered by shore power and the lower circuits down here were powered by uh, the inverters. I was hoping I'd be able to use this circuit breaker panel independently alone, but there just weren't enough breakers in here to make it work. So I had to split it off and make another independent circuit breaker panel. So from the inverters, uh, the hot leg number one feeds this breaker panel and hot leg number two feeds this breaker panel. So they're actually independent. They're, it's not a sub panel, it's actually two separate breakers. So far things have been working great. I was able to balance out the uh, power on each, on each breaker panel pretty well. Um, AC 1's over here, AC 2's over here, general purpose 1 over here, general purpose 2 over here, dryer over here, washer over here. So the breaker panels are balanced out really nicely so we can run things very efficiently with the inverters. Part of our install also included the Color Control GX and the Victron 712 uh, battery monitor. We also had uh, purchased this nice little housing to hold everything. Uh, but gosh, it works really nice. Uh, actually, this was meant to be a surface mount uh, box, but I just, I just cut a hole in my panel here and set it inside. Um, it works great. It is hooked up to the, our network here. However, our PEP wave is not on right now, so I can't go through and show you the network connections. Maybe we can do that a little bit later. What this shows me is my shore power. If, if anything's coming in from shore power, we can, it'll, it'll show here. It tells me what the inverter status is. Right now we're inverting. So we're only pulling about 40 watts of 120 volt power because the fridge is turned off right now. Uh, so that's just basically the microwave and some other little phantom draws here and there on the AC side of things. Um, over here is our what is coming in from the solar panels. You can see it's bringing in 154 watts. The only reason why it's not bringing in very much is because our batteries are at 100%. When the draw is needed, the solar panels, the solar controller will bring more power in. So I think what we're gonna try right now is try turning on an air conditioner and probably two. And with that, we also did install uh, the micro air soft starts on each of our air conditioners. We have the Coleman Mach 2 uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioners and we installed a soft start in each one of those. So far, they've been working great. Let's test it out now. Now zone one, we started on low. See how it goes. Compressor. Oh my gosh. Oh, if you could only feel that. <laughs> and 
the AC just kicked in. I just heard it kick in. So right now we're drawing 12 amps. It's hard to see. And nine, uh, 955 watts. And you can also see that our solar input uh, gained quite a bit too. So we're bringing in now almost, well, about 750 watts of solar now with uh, that one air conditioner running. So that's one air conditioner on low. Let's put that up to high. All right, so now you can see we have one air conditioner going. We're, bringing, we're pulling 140 watts on the AC side of things. And you can now see that the solar uh, charger is bringing in a lot more power too to help um, offset the AC load and we're pulling looks like 20 amps right out of the batteries all right we're going to turn on the second air conditioner now uh, zone 2 AC we'll turn that on low to start and then once it's going we'll turn it on the high okay the fans gonna kick on first and then about a minute later, we'll hear the uh, compressor kick on. There's the fan. You can still see we're pulling 1300 watts now. And that compressor is going to kick on any second. There it goes. So now we jumped up to 1800 watts. 2000 watts on the load. And looks like uh, almost 60 amps coming out of the batteries right now. And our solar controller is still at nine, uh, 850, almost 900 watts of solar coming in from the roof. It's pretty great. Two air conditioners running right now. Put the second one on high. So, second air conditioner is on high. Pulling 2100 watts. Almost 60 amps out of the batteries. It's pretty great. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, we've got two air conditioners running right now. We are not plugged into shore power. We're not plugged into anything. Generator is not going. We're running these air conditioners completely off our batteries with the assistance of our solar panels. And you know what? On a day like today, it's forecasted to be about 104. We need these air conditioners. So we're going to leave them running for a little bit, cool down the coach, and uh, we'll continue on the tour. Hello, guys. Welcome to the Battery Bay of the Disco. I'm going to go over all the little individual products we have in here and let you know what everything does. We're gonna start with the batteries. The batteries are the heart of this machine and the heart of this system, so let's start with these beautiful batteries. These are Battleborn lithium batteries. They're the 24 volt batteries. Uh, they're rated at 50 amp hours each battery. So our total ba battery bank consists of 10 batteries. That gives us 500 amp hours of battery storage at 24 volts. The greatest thing about these lithium batteries is they can be drawn down to almost zero. Where a standard lead acid battery, you can you know, the depth of discharge is 50%. So that 500 amp hour is actual 100% usable storage. But just to prolong the life of the batteries, better practice to try not to go down below 10%. That way you can maximize your life cycles and then these batteries are gonna last 10, 15 years. And another thing about these, lithium batteries are a little bit temperature sensitive. I, I believe in, in the first or second series, I did mention that you can, you can charge these at, at below 27 degrees or so. I wasn't quite right on that. What's gonna happen is at 27 degrees or below, the battery management system will cut off and then not allow charging until the batteries have reached approximately 32 degrees. So when you're in the colder environments and you need to charge your batteries, you really do need to pay attention to the temperature of your battery bay. Uh, in some situations, maybe get a, like a lizard pad or something like that to put it on top of the batteries just to heat everything up a little bit before you charge. So that's enough about the lithium batteries. I can go on and on about these things. They take such a great charge. They, they have the ability to output a huge amount of amperage. They're amazing. These two big boxes here, these two big blue beauties are our Victron uh, inverters. They're 24 volt, 3000 watt inverters with a built-in 70 amp charger. 
they're set up in parallel right now. So basically what's happening is they're working together. Uh, when one needs a little bit extra help, the other one will kick in and push all the available current to the necessary items. Right now, these guys are running our, inver our air conditioners. Remember we turned on the air conditioners up in the inside? These are still running the ACs. So there's a little bit of fan noise in the background. You might be able to hear that. That's what that's from. One thing that's so nice about these Victron inverters is they are programmable. You can arrange them in multiple different configurations. Right now we're wired in parallel. They can also be wired in split phase or multi-phase. And I think once we get home, maybe I'll play with that a little bit and change the programming. We'll see. And having two inverters means you also have two chargers. So we've got two 70 amp chargers, so we can push 140 amps into these batteries and get them charged real quickly. Way back up in here is our Victron Energy solar controller. It's a smart solar MPPT 150 100. What that means is it'll accept up to 150 watts from the solar panels and then the solar controller will charge the batteries at the rate of up to 100 amps at 12 volts. And now it's also a Bluetooth capable uh, item and I've had, I've seen up, I've seen 50 amps at 24 volts of, of charge. So we've been really working this thing hard. It's great. He's going up your pants. You got him. <laughs> oh look at he's trying to sting. <laughs> sing, sing, sing. <laughs> <laughs> you were going my pants. That would have been a, that would have sucked. <laughs> Man, the bees have been bad this year. Holy cow. Another awesome thing about this smart solar solar controller is I have it tied into the Color Control GX, which is tied into our network. So when we're away from the rig, I can log in to our network and I can check to see how much solar is coming in. I can check to see what the battery levels are. I can see what AC loads are running. I can be a thousand miles away and see what my rig is doing. It's really awesome. I love Victron Energy for that. It's oh, great. We've also got a Victron Orion 24 volt to 12 volt DC converter. The reason why we need that is because these batteries are 24 volt, but our coach runs on 12 volts. So we need to step it down, step the batteries down to the 12 volt. So that Orion converter has been working great for us. One of the best benefits of that Orion converter is the output voltage is a constant 13.2 volts. So all of our 12 volt appliances, like the lights and the water pump and, and whatever else works on 12 volts, it just loves that constant power. And that is adjustable too. There's an adjustable range between like 12.6 volts up to 13.4. So you can adjust that if you need to. I found that the 13.2 volts works just fine. And then we've also got way back in the back, you can see we've got the Victron Energy shunt. And what that does is measures the power into and out of the battery, both power and current uh, into and out of the battery pack. And then the, we got a negative bus bar. Now you all are probably wondering what those big aluminum things are back there. Well, they're called soft starts or easy starts or slow start or something like that. So what their intention is, is to slowly ramp up the capacitors in the inverters rather than taking a full punch of power like when we turn on the ACs or something like that there's a huge amperage draw rather than taking a full punch of power these little slow starts um, slow that down just by milliseconds so the inverters or the batteries aren't seeing such a huge draw in, in an instant um, they're in there basically to protect the batteries from an overload or protect the inverters from an overcurrent. These soft starts were an item that were suggested uh, by Battleborn batteries uh, that we install basically because of the large size of our system. Uh, normally for systems with inverters of 3000 watts or larger that I like to have these soft starts just to protect everything. And I'm still not done yet in here. I need to install my venting fan I've got the fan. I'm going to mount it up here and have it run through the solar controller because it's, it's pretty warm up there right now. It's not hot, but it's pretty warm. 
Well, I want to put a fan up here in the top just to kind of circulate air. And then I'm going to put another fan on the side down here, uh, feeding into this uh, conditioned bay over here to help bring in cool air. Well, hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video series on our install on our rig. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to get this uh, install going and just to see where we can where we can take things and how epic we can do it. It has definitely made life way easier for us. We can do laundry while boondocking oh, without funny. the generator We didn't on. even cover that because no. we wired the, both AC panels. Everything works. We can do washer and dryer while boondocking. Yeah. One day we were running both ACs, doing laundry, washer and dryer, and we did the dishes. Yep. Hey. Can't get much better than that. Perfect, right? But anyways, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would like to ask you to please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you're notified whenever we put up a new video. We have some exciting news coming out from Battleborn Batteries here in the near future. By the way, our air conditioners are still running. So and it's I don't time to go get in I don't hear cool a coach. generator and I don't hear, we're not plugged in anywhere. It's They're 104 today. 104 so I think it's time, I think to, go it's time to go inside. All right guys. Thanks for watching and until next time. Pow Hana folks. Pow Hana. As always if you like this video please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana. Hana.